<laughs> hey, so blood is a scarce resource. In emergency situations, O negative, the universal donor, is required. Because um, um, that is important to have the right blood to face emergency situations. Even, even though emergency responders have access to all the blood types, they cannot administer them without a rapid confirmation test. This is a worldwide concern. Less than 3% of people have O negative worldwide. O negative scarcity creates a huge financial impact for blood inventory management. As blood only lasts for 42 days, there is a constant need for the uh, right blood types. Billions of dollars are being spent right now in order to face emergency situations. So that's why we have created a portable medical device that detects blood type in three minutes. So it's faster, more affordable, and uh, with this, more importantly, we can execute the test anywhere, from ambulances, emergency helicopters, to small clinics or remote locations. With this, any medical responder can detect blood earlier on in the process and allow the right transfusion without having to wait or to give O negative. The device works in the same way medical staff is used to work nowadays in the traditional big bulky devices that exist in hospitals and laboratories. All we have to do is put some drops in the, in the cartridge and then the device will create the right set of movements, almost like centrifusion, in order to detect the right result for the test. But let me show you, show you how that works. Let's go to the demo. So imagine a car accident where people need blood transfusion. All the emergency responder has to do is to put some drops of blood in the cartridge and insert it into the cream device. After that, the device will uh, create the right set of movements in order to allow clotting. After that, the machine learning and computer vision algorithms will detect the right result, and the result appears on the main screen, as it is right there. So the transfusion can be done now on the emergency vehicle, if they already had blood banks, or the hospital can be alerted in order for them to be ready with the right blood type as soon as the patient arrives. So the device can do the test offline, as an autonomy for more than 80 tests and stores information about every test in order to be sent to our cloud later on. Now back to the deck. So we redesigned the way these tests are being done nowadays in the traditional big bulky devices. So in order to execute, ex execute the, 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 the test anywhere, so we use microfluidics <coughs> in the cartridge, in order to split the blood evenly in all of the, the containers. We have a, a patent for the process, and we created a secret strategy for the algorithms. Our accuracy is 99.77, which is more than enough to handle FDA requirements. We have, we have competitors, of course, so we are talking about the big multinationals worldwide in terms of pharmaceutical, but they can only do this on laboratories and hospitals. So CREAM is the only one that can execute this for the point of care. We are also faster and more affordable. So addressable market for blood type is um, higher than $4 billion, if, if we only count with emergency vertical. Um, uh, this, this is calculated with the number of hospitals and emergency vehicles worldwide. Commercialization pass for CREAM is the regulatory one. So the first markets for us are United States and European Union. We, we validated the device in major international hospitals with an accuracy of 99.77. FDA only requires 97 for these kinds of tests. So we are in the process of securing FDA and C mark. We already secured comfort letters from end clients, such <coughs> as government institutes and hospital groups. Business model for Cream is B2B. So uh, uh, the initial revenue will come from the hardware, the recurring revenue will come from the cartridges and the software as a service algorithms. So 
this is a market that is owned by key distributors, where Korean already has letters of intent with most of them. We have a great team in place, so medical, scientific, and business-wise. We have biochemistry PhDs, we have uh, computer vision and machine learning experts, uh, we have experienced people in business management and distribution. We also have uh, excellent board of advisors from PhD researchers to the CEO of one of the largest hospitals in Iberia. So, if you are in a blood-related role, go to korean.com, ask for a pilot, help us to reduce costs for the healthcare industry, and more important, saving lives. Thank you. Okay, judges. Can you tell us a little bit about your distribution strategy and, more importantly, how the buyer thinks, right? Because they already have an infrastructure in place. Yep. So are you going to come in and say, I'm faster, I'm cheaper? Is it just put your infrastructure aside, take me over? Or is it somewhere that doesn't have infrastructure at all and they start from scratch? No, no, it's just the way you, you, you give the blood. So hospitals spend around 1% of their budget in blood. So imagine the saving that they could have if they could give the right one instead of O negative every time. Mm -hmm. So the distributors, there are big players worldwide that already control the blood industry, the blood typing devices, etc. So we talked with them, we validated the business model with them, we understood what kind of uh, margins they wanted from us, and with that we got the letters of intent, so that's the easy way to go. So is that what you mean by uh, attraction, Let letters of intent, as opposed to uh, like form a working relationship with those companies? On the well, well, we have um, um, uh, pilots with major international hospitals that shows the accuracy. We have done clinical trials with them. However, we cannot convert letters of intent to orders until we have the final device ready. So what we are doing right now is basically give it to fundraising in order to have the final device ready, handle the regulatory, and start delivering the devices to the distributors that sign the letters of intent. And a quick follow-up, if you don't mind. Yeah, good. Um, so you mentioned that you are going through the FDA approval process. Where exactly are you in that process? Well, it's the 510K, so we don't have to be from scratch because uh, it's uh, something that we redesigned from the traditional way, so it takes around six months. We are submitting all of the paperwork necessary for that. So not only for FDA, but also for CE, in order to, in order to start selling also in Europe. Uh, just as a side note to make sure uh, it's clear, uh, we have more than enough accuracy to make the whole process. It just needs to be uh, the finished product, uh, which is basically a manufactured uh, devices uh, so that it's ready to be FDA approved and you cannot touch it after. But uh, technically and scientifically, the device is more than validated. As you think about the future enterprise value of your company, what are um, other businesses, medical devices, maybe in this category or related categories? What are the outcomes? What do they look like? So we created a device as a platform approach. So basically, we can detect also diseases, nutrients, and so on. So basically, imagine an espresso that you put a different cartridge for every test. What we are using is standard reagents in the market that already are used by the big pharmaceuticals, and we are bringing that for the point of care area. So um, there, ha there is a lot of a roadmap for, the for it. So uh, diseases, nutrients, veterinary, water analysis, soil, etc. So we basically can detect every visible reaction uh, you can think of. Can you talk about price point and how it relates um, yeah. compared to your competitors? Yeah, so basically the, um, the minimal cost of a traditional device is higher than 250K right now. So we can sell the device by 16,000, and we can give financial incentives depending on the annual commitment from the number of cartridges. So that's the recurrent revenue stream. The other is the algorithm. So every time we have a new algorithm, the device can self-update over the year, and the end client will pay that in the software as a service model. Um, could you talk just a little bit more about <clears throat> how your technology is different from the existing models on the market? You mentioned computer vision, but in a world of um, maybe I'll ask the controversial question that's on everyone's <laughs> mind. In a world of blood analysis Elephant and Theranos, yeah. um, yeah. tell us how it's really different. Well, yeah. first of all, we can do it in the point of care. Yeah. No one can by now for, for blood tapping. The other one, I will let Philip handle the... Yeah, some of the, 
from the science perspective, uh, you need to make sure that you can uh, detect visible reactions on the move. Uh, that's why uh, we focus on portability, and that has their, its own challenges. And uh, basically, we solve that with microfluidics and the design of our own cartridges uh, to make sure that the reaction occurs in the uh, minimum time possible. So we optimize the reaction. And then we also design the cartridge to be able to uh, be easier for them to, be, to extract the computer vision uh, features that we require from each reaction. So it's actually a complete approach from the machine to make sure that then we are able to uh, very easily, or as easy as possible, detect very complex and sometimes very subtle uh, chemical reactions, which are uh, right now very hard to do, even on bulky machines. Just for you to know, so CREAM stands for Chemical Reaction and Image Analysis for Mobility. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Final question? Yeah, so what do you intend to accomplish with your, your funding round? So basically, uh, we want to go through the design to manufacturing phase because we have uh, prototypes ready, clinical trials done, letters of intent for, for, for distributors. So basically, it's getting the final device ready, handle the regulatory, and start selling. So after that, we will go through the roadmap for different diseases, uh, lack of nutrients that retailers are asking us to, to detect, like magnesium and calcium, in order for them to sell the right supplements for persons. So this is something that we want to do. All right, let's have one more round of applause for Cream. Thank you very much.